Uh, so Jeff, yes. you know, a lot of people have respect for um, uh, uh, verma castings or worm castings or, or worm poop, right? Right, for good reason. Yeah, for good reason. And um, for for most people, though, they see it as a good organic nitrogen source. Hmm. Um, but you know, from reading your books, I've realized that that you know that's just the tip of the iceberg. And I think it's important that people understand how. Um, worm castings can really help the soil food web. So, will you break that out for us? Sure. Well, uh, it's interesting. Worms are phenomenal. Yes. Yeah. God, they're just... Uh, well, you know, all the books that people have written about worms, they don't need another one from me. But uh, if there was a subject to write about worms, and ants would be right there. But uh, what happens with a worm is is that they take in their, their nutrient, uh, which is really just a bunch of microbes. They don't care about that leaf they're pulling into their body. They just want to take a couple of little bacteria, maybe a little fungi, some protozoa, mm, yummy, uh, and, and the rest of it goes right, right through them. So what comes out of the worm is that organic material minus a few of the microbes that the worm uh, would, would ingest itself. But an amazing thing happens inside the worm that makes it more valuable than just nitrogen. Yes, there's good nitrogen in worm castings, but there is also somehow an increase in a number of the elements that you want to have as nutrients. So phosphorus, uh, I list them in the book, uh, teaming with microbes, uh, I can't, I, about five or six of them are increased five, six, seven, eight times in concentration as they come out the back end. So what goes into the worm and what comes out the back end are not the same in terms of nutrient quality. And when it comes out, it comes out in a form that helps build soil structure. And, and so both the increase in nutrients and that, that wonderful, friable uh, nature of the, of the material itself, those castings, they just make a terrific condominium for the soil food web. They are full of nutrients, which the soil food web needs and your plants need, uh, and they still contain a tremendous um, number of good microbes in there. So uh, for all of those reasons, worm casting is great. And the reason why so many people use worm castings, as opposed to just pure compost or verma castings, uh, is because of this increased concentration in these five or six or seven nutrients. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I like that you said that uh, it creates a good condominium for right. the food wi web. Uh, so it's because it's going to live there, right? It creates a good living environment. Absolutely. And um, you said that it, it adds to soil structure. Right. Um, can you break out what exactly you mean by soil structure? Sure. Uh, you know, if you if you look at soil, depending on where you are, it has it has a different feel, uh, a different crumbleness, etc. Etc. I mean, these, these are soil structures, how the soil is put together. And so uh, in the soil food web world, what happens is the bacteria, uh, uh, they give off a, a glue in order to be able to stick themselves together, and that sticks to little pieces of, of, of little. In this case, it could stick to those little teeny uh, castings, and then those castings stick to each other. And that begins to form uh, a conglomerate of, so of soil. These aren't bricks, they're not flat. And so you get poor spaces where air and water can go and little guys can hide from the big guys. So it's, it's, that's soil structure. Mm -hmm. and, and then fungi come in and they, they weave around those little conglomerates and they make a bigger one and, and, and all of a sudden, and then even if you have the worm in there, you know, it goes through, it makes a tunnel and a burrow. All of this stuff makes it easier for a plant to grow. The roots can grow between and around these pore spaces and into these pore spaces. If there happen to be worms in the soil, they can go right in the worm uh, hole, tunnels and burrows. It's, you know, so, so having worms is really a great thing. Right on. So, yeah. so this time of year, um, a lot of us are <clears throat> looking to source worm castings, and there's you know there's lots of options. We can have our own worm boxes. Um, we can we can buy castings uh, from a local farmer, um, but also you know most of us will end up going to a grow shop. And um, you know they've got they've got bags that are pure worm castings, which mm -hmm. are much more expensive. Mm -hmm. But then we've got these like uh, worm casting and some kind of soil mix bags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I always have a hard time deciding which one to buy because I like the cheaper price, right. but I don't particularly like that I'm paying for the soil. But there might be a good reason for it. So so if you were going to guide somebody to one one product or another, what do you think we should look for when looking to buy worm castings? I like the pure worm castings myself. Yeah. Uh, I never know what the soil is. Mm. Now, of course, the label, you know, if it's good soil and I know who the people are, et cetera, then, then it's fine. But I have my own soil. I have my right. own compost, 
Um, and so I use them. Uh, I, I also think you have to be very careful that when you buy worms yourself, uh, that you make sure you get the right kind of worms. There's mm. this worm they're bringing in from uh, Asia as a bait worm. It looks like the regular red wiggler that we all, you know, were taught to buy, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but it's not. And it's the worm that is causing the duff to, to disappear too quickly in, uh, in Michigan. Uh, fishermen go fishing. They don't catch anything. They throw the worms down on the ground. These worms eat uh, all of the duff in six months that should take two or three years to disappear. Mm. And then the next thing you know, you, you have garlic mustard move in. Garlic mustard is, al boy am I getting off point. Garlic mustard is allopathic uh, for the mycorrhizal fungi that feed maple trees. And so maple trees are dying all over as a result. So uh, you wanna be careful about where you get your worms as well as your worms. Let's take another step down that rabbit hole. Okay. So, so you said, you know, the red wigglers that we were all taught to buy. Right. And the recent feedback I've been getting from people, they've been recommending uh, pick, me picking up night crawlers. Right. So, so which are the right worms, and does it matter? Well, I don't know. You know, the night crawlers, uh, you know, they make they they're they're deep. They go deep. Uh, and we don't have them in Alaska, so I don't have a lot of experience uh, with them, but I know people that have brought them into Alaska, and I'm, I'm beginning to wonder, is that a good thing, uh, mm -hmm. first of all? But all the worms, basically, in the United States have been imported. Um, uh, Wait, like all the worms? Yeah. Like even the ones in the soil or just the ones yeah. that we're selling? No, the ones in the soil came in. We, we had worms in the United States, in, in North America. Uh, glaciation came and it destroyed the worms, except a few of them down, uh, you know, in the Arizona area. There's some what they call pot worms that, that survived, uh, but earthworms didn't. Oh. And so the pilgrims came and they had uh, worms in the ballast of their boats. So they took those rocks, they brought them, they had worms in, you know, like, and then Johnny Appleseed, right. and Oregon Trail, blah, blah, blah. And about 20, 25 years uh, ago, I started getting phone calls from people in Anchorage, Alaska, who said, what are these little bumps in my lawn? People had never seen a worm. Wow, that's hard to believe. Isn't yeah, it, it is. I hard grew up on the East Coast. I mean, we, we had the biggest compost pile in the world and worms. I mean, that's what you fished with, right? right. Anyway, it's very, very interesting. But worm castings are very valuable. I go for the pure. Uh, and the reason is soil structure, but also because it's got a high concentration of nutrients. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll shake your hand. <laughs>